Hey team, I wanted to pass on a thought I had while on the long ride on Sunday. Uh, as it pertains to uh, the training week and more importantly uh, each individual workout, how we view that workout uh, in the week. It's far too common to look at each individual training session as an isolated uh, workout. Um, and that's actually not the way we should look at it. Um, what you want to do is look at that run as it relates to a bike or a swim or anything else you have in that week. So say tomorrow you have a run coming up um, and say that's all you have during the day. Um, you can look at that run as an isolated workout um, and all you have to do is run and you don't really think about much else. Uh, what I want to stress is how to wrap your mind around the whole rest of the day and how it relates to that run. Not saying you have to obsess about the run and forget about everything you have to do the rest of the day because um, obviously there's more important things to training um, but there's little things that you can think about there's little things you can do that can really impact that run uh, later on in the day or, or even think about the day before if that runs going to be the next day first thing in the morning uh, do you have everything laid out ready to go in the morning so you can start that run on time um, are you well hydrated uh, do you need to uh, drink a little more water towards the end of the day or throughout the day to make sure you show up that next morning uh, hydrated? Uh, first thing in the morning, do you wake up, do you drink a full glass of water? Uh, do you give yourself enough time to wake up and take care of business uh, before you start that run? Um, is your, if you're running in the dark, is your headlamp charged? There's all these little things that you can think about um, to uh, even the route uh, to better serve that run uh, in terms of building your fitness. It sounds like um, uh, you know a little a little thing, but trust me, if you look at each individual workout and under a slightly different light, as far as how they stack together, um, being prepared for each one, um, uh, planning ahead, so. You know, if it's a 30 minute run, you're not doing, uh, you know, 26 minutes, 27 minutes. Um, it's important to always be consistent uh, from completing that workout to completion to uh, nailing those strides at the end of the run. Um, as me as a coach, I do put a lot of thought into the training plans and those workouts and where they go why they go there, how they're gonna affect your rest of your week. Um, so I just want you to uh, think about how those uh, training sessions are gonna fit into your week. Um, if you can plan for those a little bit better to make it work, um, if you can be prepared uh, to make them work, uh, to show up to that training session ready to go, hydrated, fueled, uh, whatever needs to happen to make get the most out of that training session um, and as always if there's questions about your training plan if there's something that doesn't work uh, please let me know I mean there's there's ways we can work around it um, if there's a two-hour ride on there and you can only do an hour uh, don't just do an hour without letting me know because that changes the workout completely um, we need to do different work in that hour than we needed to do if we had and two hours uh, so that that changes um, so think about your week uh, look at your week uh, and just uh, let me know um, how I can help you uh, make the most out of it